Welcome back to our latest uh, Zoom press conference, which is now the norm um, now that we are in the bubble. So uh, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we have a really exciting uh, doubleheader planned for you Saturday on ESPN Plus, uh, which, which kicks off at 7.30 p.m. and we have a hell of a co-main event. Uh, featherweight division, a pair of former world title challengers, Joette Gonzalez, who's coming off a very good performance against Shakur Stevenson and is stepping right back into the fire against Miguel Mariaga, a three-time world title challenger who is on a quest for a fourth world title shot. So the winner of this fight uh, will be in excellent position to do so in the featherweight division. And then in our main event, uh, we have the man that we just call Mean Machine, uh, who's coming off his great performance against Terrence Crawford, and he's fighting um, a Canadian who's making his ninth appearance in Las Vegas, Mikhail Zuski. Uh, so first off, we are already on the line. We have Miguel, we have Joette Gonzalez with us right now. Uh, so everybody who wants to ask a question, please press the raise hand button uh, on your uh, on your Zoom, or you can just send me a message privately in the chat and uh, we will get going. But before we go on to the questions, Joette, now that you're joining us, you're leaving for Las Vegas later today after this call. So please tell us, Joette, um, what's it been like sort of dealing with the pandemic, coming off your first career defeat and stepping right back in there um, against a formidable, formidable opponent like Miguel Mariaga? I mean, it feels great just to just to fight again, uh, especially a top guy. I uh, came off my first loss uh, and, you know, told, told my manager, Frank Espinoza, and my promoter, Golden Boy, that, uh, I wanted a tough fight again. Uh, I don't want to just go, you know, take an easy fight to enough fight. I wanted to get back in there, uh, you know, just show the boxing people that I'm still here to fight uh, the top names and the best guys out there. And, you know, the whole pandemic uh, slowed us down in the beginning. I think for everybody, obviously, boxing was shut down. Gyms were closed here in California. But, uh, you know, I stayed disciplined with my diet, with my training, you know, doing some runs in the streets and doing home workouts. And I'm, I'm ready to fight this Saturday. Sorry about that. I, I, I have to figure out how to press unmute when I'm ready to speak and that will help us all. Uh, first question, we've got, uh, we've got Gail. Uh, when you're ready to go, sh uh, go ahead. I'm ready to go. Good afternoon, everybody. You know, this is in effect the Mexican Independence Day weekend card. Uh, Joette, it, did that cross your mind? And how do you feel about that? Getting on a card of, you know, in, in these circumstances, but of that magnitude for the sport? Yeah, I noticed it was, uh, you know, Mexican Independence Weekend. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's my first time fighting actually in like Mexican Independence Weekend and my first time, you know, in September as well. So I'm, I'm motivated. I got family in Mexico and uh, Guadalajara. So they'll be uh, watching, supporting me. And, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, get back in there and, and give a great fight. And speaking from the top rank perspective, have you folks um, clued into that, plan to do anything during the broadcast this weekend? Well, Gail, I'm sure you'll have to wait and see, but yes, we have, ESPN does have something planned to, uh, to, to pay homage to Mexican in the, in the Independence Day week, and of course. Very good. Thank you, Joe. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then next up, we have Sean Zatel. Sean, I've asked you to unmute, so when you do so, please go ahead. Hey, Joe. How you doing? Very good. How are you? Good, man. Thanks. Um, I just, in your previous fight, man, back in Reno, we fought for the title. Did you feel like that fight didn't do justice to your skills and what you're able to do if, if people go back and watch that? Um. It most definitely, I mean, styles make fights. Uh, the, the, I, I mean, I can only say for that fight, I came to fight. I came for a war and Shakur basically just came to win. He didn't came to like really fight. He played it really safe and, you know, made a smart fight and got the victory. But uh, it is what it is. You know, I moved past that. Um, obviously, I, I, I moved past that while, uh, months ago. I mean, I had a, mar a fight in March coming up. Pandemic came in, canceled that, and now I'm focused on Mariaga, which is uh, this Saturday. You know, what would a, if you were able to stop Miguel Mariaga, what would that mean to you in your career being that 
you know, he went the distance with Valdez and Lomachenko. I mean, it just shows, you know, the boxing world that, I, that I'm a real contender and I'm, I'm a top guy as well in the featherweight division despite losing my last fight. I mean, like you just said, I'll be the first to even stop Mariaga. He hasn't been stopped, uh, but he didn't get stopped by Oscar, Nicholas Walters. And to me, he basically kind of quit against Lomachenko. Uh, I think he didn't come out for the seventh to eighth round. So, I mean, it'll make a big statement to the boxing world. That's right. That's right. He did retire on his stool. That's what comes up. Um, and then lastly, forgive me for that, Joet. Um, what would you think about fighting the Navarrete via winner? I mean, it's exactly why I took this fight. Uh, I wanted a big fight coming off my loss, just, you know, just to show the boxing world that I'm, I'm a fighter. I'm here to fight whoever, whenever, uh, regardless of the situation. And, you know, the winner of Navarrete via, um, I, I'm, I'm more than happy, you know, Navarrete if he takes the win, he'll be a two-time world champion. Uh, and then if Fia gets the win, I mean, he'll be uh, making a name for himself, obviously be the former world champion. And either fight's good, but uh, I'm ready to fight whoever wins that fight. Thanks, Joed. And uh, my fault on the Lomachenko blunder. Good luck uh, Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Th thank you, Sean. And now we turn ahead to Miguel Maravilla. Miguel, go ahead. Hey, what's up, Joed? First of all, how's, uh, how has his preparation gone? And what is a uh, what does a win over Mariaga represent? I mean, preparation was good. Uh, nothing really changed for this camp. You know, I was indoors. You know, by myself in the gym. Obviously, my dad who trains me and my brother uh, was sparring. Um, you know, only difference was the sparring. We didn't go out as much because you know, being careful from for the coronavirus. But uh, a win against Mariaga, I mean, it means a lot. Like, you know, a lot, lot's on the table right now. Uh, the winner of this fight could possibly fight the winner of Navarrete Villa. So put me right back in there for another world title shot. And obviously, like I said, uh, beating Mariaga, you know, just shows the boxing world right now that, that I'm a real fighter and I can compete with these top guys. You're, you're coming off a defeat to uh, Shakur Stevenson. How, uh, how difficult has it been, you know, you, you suffer your first defeat, and then all of a sudden we get hit with a uh, you know, pandemic quarantine. How, what did you do to, you know, to focus, to stay focused on, on your career, on your task? I mean, after I, I got my first loss, you know, I took a week off from the gym and I was right back into the following week. You know, I told my dad, you know, this is, I'm still here to fight. Like, regardless of we lose, um, I'm a fighter. Uh, I'll fight anytime with anybody. And, you know, I was getting ready for my fight in March, uh, getting ready for that. Got canceled, which is very disappointing because obviously I wanted to, you know, come back. And I was ready to, but it was put on hold. But now I'm happy that I, I'm happy that I got a fight. And against Miguel Mariaga, another top name, which was, which was something I wanted. And, you know, now I just got to take advantage of it and get the victory Saturday. Obviously, Mariaga's, you know, a tough opponent. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Tough guy, you know, he's always come to fight. He gave, you know, Oscar Valdez all he can handle. Nicholas Walters as well. Uh, Lomachenko was the only one that, you know, kind of made him quit, frustrated him. And, you know, you know, he's, he's, his only losses are in world title fights. And with this fight, I mean, I'm hoping uh, to, to beat him, you know, better than all the other guys he lost to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, as I stated at the top, uh, we got a couple more questions for Miguel here. So uh, please use the raised hand button on your on your Zoom so that I know that you're ready to ask a question. Um, so yes, yeah, so please do so right now. Or if you'd like, if you don't know how to use that function, you can uh, you can text me on the Zoom chat and I will unmute you. So either so do either of those things and we will get going. All right. Now that I don't see any more, uh, and I don't see any more uh, raised hands, Miguel, uh, you are you are officially off the clock. So you get you can get out of uh, Los Angeles, head down to Las Vegas, and we will see you tomorrow for the weigh-in, sir. All right. Thank you very much. So we've got so so uh, Joel Gonzalez is off the chat right now. Um, 
in a, in a matter of moments, uh, Miguel Mariaga will, will join us. So please hold on one second.